Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today we'll be building a password hacker. Now I want to say this is for educational purposes only and uh, not to be used for any malicious intent. So what we're going to do is we're going to generate the password using the password generator I built in a previous tutorial. So check that out if you're interested. And then we're going to then build the hacking part of it where we're going to basically guess what password has been generated. Subscribe to this uh, channel if you like it, like the video if you like it, share it, please share it out if you like it as well. Um, so let's run through what's going to happen. As mentioned earlier we're going to build a generator so I'm going to swift uh, skip through that quite quickly because you can see a previous tutorial for that and then we're going to basically create a modified list of all possible uh, permutations of what the password could be and then we're going to index that and then we're going to basically compare the list against the generated password and the password generator and then we're going to print out uh, what we think the password is or what the password is according to the hacking part of it so A few assumptions I have to state first is that, as we can, if you look here, we see that I've listed a few assumptions, and the main one is these are two very big assumptions, by the way. Firstly, the password is of known length, and two, the password just consists of. Well, we're going to start with A, B, and C. So the password just consists of the letters A, B, and C. These are very big assumptions, however, this is for educational purposes and this is only to give you an idea of uh, how basically dictionary attacks occur. This is pretty much how dictionary hack occurs. You have a big list of a file and they just literally run through the whole dictionary checking to see if your password matches any one of those words and if it does then it's bad news. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import two different toolkits, the ITER tools toolkit and the random tools kit. Then we're going to use our password generator to create a password. And then we're going to start with three letters to begin with. And then Let's get a new console to get nice and clear, a nice fresh sheet. And you can see here we are generating random passwords. So another assumption you could say is that the user or the password being generated is changing every time we redo the function, which probably is not the case in real life. So the second thing we're going to do is we're just going to put that password generator equal to Y to make things easier later on. And then let's get rid of these print checks. So as I go along, I put a print function in to check if it is what I'm expecting. It's a very uh, clever and useful technique to do. So next thing to do is to create a dictionary list. So we're going to have an empty list to start with and then we're going to use the iter tools function to populate that empty list of all possible permutations of it. So we're going to use the iter tools functions and then we're going to have dot product which basically is the way of getting all possible permutations and then we'll have dot product of a, b and c I'm going to repeat it three times for each character. So we know that the character is, we know the password is three lengths long and it consists of only A, B, and C. So we're going to have all possible permutations of A, B, and C three times. And then we're going to populate it with extend and then we're going to print it out. So let's print this out and as you can see, do it again, you can see 
we've printed out all possible permutations of that list. The only problem, as you can see, is that we have each element of the list is three separate items, but we want that all as one word because a password is a word. It's not made up of three separate letters. It's made up of what well, is made up of three separate letters, but it's not in this way. It's one word. So we need to get this A A A A as from three separate elements into just A A A as one word. And we do that by I've done this by creating another list oh. and then uh, calling that dict mod, so a modified dictionary, and then looping it around the length of the previous list and concatenating all the different elements of each list, all the each um, items within each element of the list. So if all goes correctly, there we go, we should have here, all that has, that has gone into that. So it's now shrunk, which is a good thing on memory, memory terms, but it's also now more wordy, if that is a thing. And then the final stage is, we have this list now, we know the password of known length and known and sort of three known characters of A, B, and C. Then we're literally going to run through. We have the password here. Let's say we're going to run through each item of the list, and it's like um, a sort of lock and key sort of thing. And then, by the moment you get to this, moment one of them equals this, we're going to print it out. You know, we found it. That's our password. So. I'm doing that by using the index function. So we're going to use dictmod dot index of y. So we're going to index the password y against dictmod. And then we're going to print out the password. So let's go to that previous print. See BBA and it will change every time because the password generated every time changes. Every time. So let's make this a bit more complex. Let's increase the length of this. Let's double it. Double it to DEF. Let's do this. Uh, it's not, it's a bit clunky for when you're trying to increase it, but uh, let's see, will that work? Yes, yes, yes. Now, let's print it, you see, there we go. And then a good check, a good check for this is if we take or if we activate the print from when the password is generated and we keep the print from when the password, we think what we think the password is, or we know, and then those two prints, we should have two lines exactly the same combination of letters. Uh, what has happened here? Ah, that is because the printing was in there. Let us stop that. And then let us, here we go, you see? Two lines of exactly the same letters. Combination, so hence all passwords. So we know that works now. And now we have our password hacker. So if you enjoyed that tutorial, then please subscribe to my channel. It's only going to get bigger and better. And share it. You have my blessing. Please do share it. And this is for educational purposes only. Very important that that is the case. And then thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.